There are a couple of workflows you can use to create parts. In this case, I've created a new file, and I'm eventually going to insert this into the file where the two wheels are. So I'm creating the front fork of the bike using the polyline, a little vertical line 25 millimeters long. Then I'm going to go off to the right, an angle of about 5 degrees, so in total 95, which you can see, and about 250 millimeters long. Doesn't have to be exact. Coming back down the way, I want the right-hand end to be a little wider than the left, so I didn't quite come down back onto that line, and again about 250. This line is any old length, because I'm going to be fixing that a little later. Now I want to be a little more accurate with the profile. Another polyline. I want to be careful that you select the line itself for the sketch plane. That way it'll snap onto that endpoint. Carefully selecting that. Coming out to the right, kind of towards the, the little bend in the line there. And 20 millimeters down. Enter and then off to the right. I'm just going to make this line a bit longer and finish off the polyline. Now the good news you see there is that that color went inside that profile, meaning that I can extrude that. Now I could trim those ends off, either trim or extend sometimes. I'm not going to bother, I don't need that. Rotate that around so it's back to the normal profile. I need to cut a notch out. This will be the area where the body of the bike goes through. So I'm using a rectangular sketch positioning this approximately, but giving it a height of 15 millimeters. An overall length I can see by the position, 150 should work here. You want it towards the right hand end, towards the top of the fork. This time I will trim this out. Again, taking care that you select the sketch plane correctly. There we go. And the actual little line to trim out. You can see all the little icons on there, little symbols telling me that it's either right angles or perpendicular or parallel. Select the surface, extrude, drag it down. Looking at that, it's minus 20, so 20 millimeters. I don't need the sketch anymore, so I'll hide that. And now I can go to Pattern, Mirror. Again, being careful to select the whole object, not just the face. Telling an edge is good. Go to the second line, which is the mirror plane. There you go. Lots of work for nothing. So the next thing I want to do are round off the edges using the fillet tool. Some fairly big fillets going in here. I actually want to round off that area completely. So I'll select those four edges. I know that it's 30 millimeters wide, so I'm going to use a 15 millimeter radius. That way, it will be completely rounded off at the end. And similarly in this area, on all of the edges. You can see now I've finished all the fillets. I've had a very large fillet there. I think that was about 200. You can play with that. And I think 5 millimeters for the rest. Again, just so that it looks good. Assign the red birch to the surface. And it's finished.